JMW Films here. So today I'm going to be doing a different video. I'm going to be doing a Q&A. Now, I've been asked a lot of like different questions I'll see in streams and people always like ask me this on live stream, but like it only retains to that one person I answer to or usually the live stream I'm answering to. So I'm going to make this video because I seem to get a lot more views than I do when I'm streaming. So all right. first question, what inspires me? So when I started the YouTube channel back seven years ago, I was inspired by what my brother mainly showed me. I got an Xbox back in like 2007. My brother would constantly show me like uh, machinima type content, like Halo based stuff. They had a Halo montage, it was like a music montage, it was like a music video. My brother showed me it and I was just so inspired by like how they, they could do that. Like they put everything together and it was like a video game sense, you know, I, I wasn't too familiar with like online games. You know, I had a PS2 before I came to Xbox, so I was like blown away by like the whole online world and whatnot. Um, so later on, um, I got into PC t related stuff and I was inspired on uh, Gmod. Um, I actually came across this video on this guy building a car um, with like Gmod. It was on Sandbox. He was building a car out of these just random parts. It was like some. Um, add-on he downloaded and I was just so like shocked and inspired by like him building stuff and I'm like I've heard of Gmod before I finally bought Gmod and I hopped on it over the course of playing it I found a couple of youtubers like just on YouTube just browsing around I found uh, this guy named Griff's PDA he's a early troller he's not known very well but he does some great stuff that inspired me onto doing uh, Gmod trolling uh, he, he did some really funny stuff before really anyone else did it uh, second person that inspired me in the Gmod sense was Zuthar13. Uh, I know a lot of you people who watch my Gmod content know probably who he is. He's a bit bigger YouTuber than I am, but uh, both of which inspired me to do uh, Gmod videos. So for the other content, I, I would just say my sole inspiration probably just came from uh, general video game videos. I I've always wanted to create a channel with like an active audience and you guys are enjoying the stuff I put out. And I just want to say thank you to all of you guys for supporting me constantly. Uh, don't have any money, you're you dead, boy. You're, you're fucking money. dead. Hey, guess what? Go lick. Uh, why is my name JMW Films, and what is the background? So basically, back in the very beginning, I named myself when I first created a YouTube my YouTube account. It was Noobkiller99786. Um, basically when I set up my name, I couldn't really think of really anything creative at the time, you know, I was, I think it was like 10 or 11 at the time, and so I had Noob Killa, and then I'm just like, I'll just add a bunch of random different numbers, so I, you know, was just playing at the top of the keyboard and got 99786 going, you know, back and forth, right to left on the keyboard. And um, so after like three years of just uploading small little Halo videos and Gmod videos, I came across um, this guy who left a comment on one of my old Gmod videos. And he's like, I like your content, but I honestly think you need a name change. And he's like, I suggest using something shorter and maybe having productions or something at the end of it. So it's like an interesting kind of name. There was like JMW666, you know, <laughs> I had like the devil's numbers in there. Um, not that I'm evil, I just thought they were interesting. But um, so after all that controversy and changing my name a lot, I, was, I made the big decision to change my name to JMW and then uppercase film because of every alias I've ever had with JMW in it was always lowercase and films was a whole new start to it so I had films as an uppercase so I don't know the contrast between the lowercase and uppercase makes it you know interesting where do I live so I live in um, the east coast of the United States uh, north of New York I'm trying to name big states for other countries who might not be familiar with the United States but I live in a state called Massachusetts it's basically America's hometown as some call it um, what was the funniest moment in your YouTube career so far I believe 
uh, most of the funniest moments happen on Gmod. Just asking why you ran, why you wanted uh, turtles. I had an anonymous tip that there was illegal goods in there. So you basically and the waste. Hits the podium. And the hits the podium. It isn't a band. Especially ISIS kid, we had a lot of fun on there. This kid we just randomly met is like going around. Are you aware that if you kill a Christian, you will have eternity in <laughs> what is this like speech? heaven or whatever they believe in? Fucking uh, pretending he's like a, a extremist terrorist. Um, not that I condone anything he says, but it the video definitely immediately got controversy because of the uh, the title. YouTube immediately turned off monetization. Um, another video that was kind of controversial was the terror attack video where these terrorists take over the PD. We were just a peaceful religion trying to make our way throughout this tough world of there. However, due to their laws and policies, it makes it difficult for us. Everybody thinks we're just gonna explode all the time, like we're made of fucking atom bombs or something, but we're not. We're just people who follow the word of all. <laughs> That's all we are, Enfu. That's all we are, and that's all we will ever be. We're Can peaceful people, and that's all we want to express ourselves as. Can you show me what you guys do? Like, show me a demonstration? Show me a demonstration of your power. Everybody lock and load. <laughs> Both of those were both hilarious videos. I'd say probably one of the funniest videos I'd say I have ever done goes back to this one video that got muted and blocked in every country. Basically season one of Gmod trolling back in 2013 and there's this guy named Bill Nye. He, he was this awesome guy we met off the street. Uh, in the original video I made, it was basically when I was having hard drive problems when I was recording. He, uh, the video was like stutters a lot at some parts, so it's kind of hard to understand sometimes what he's saying. But he basically pretends like he's Bill Nye, the science guy, and he does this show. Um, I'll just play the video for you guys so you know, you can watch it. People, welcome to Bill Nye, the Science Guy Show. Today, here, kids, we're gonna teach you how to make something illegal. Now, don't worry, kids, as long as you don't get caught, you won't be in trouble for it. Now, I'm not exactly an expert on this, but I bought some expert today. Um, introducing uh, an actual real life drug dealer. Come up here, Mr. Gene Phoenix. Yeah, and I also bought a black man and also a police officer. So, they are also experts on Alright, so why don't you just go ahead and show the delicate process of making, making Trump. Faggot, uh, faggot Trump. Uh, okay. <laughs> First you start out with a washing machine. You just <laughs> uh, most of that involves that pokey little kid shutting up. Hold yeah. oh, on a second. We're gonna go murder someone real quick. Get him! Get him! Fuck you, bitch! That's science. That is science. I have currently found out that uh, I am mentally insane from a doctor. But you know what? I'm fucking not! I'm fucking not! I'm fucking not! I'm fucking not! Fuck this Trump! Fuck science! Fuck science! I'm gonna overdose on science! I'm sick of telling people stop! Look at this! I'm fucking crazy! Science! God damn it! Fucking look at me right now! You see this right now? You see this? You fucking... Science! It turned me into the- I'm going to go! Cook everyone in town! Kill them all! The Nazi info that told me a little something. The gnomes are gonna get everywhere! Ah! Fuck it! Ah! Oh god! There! Oh god! Everywhere! Oh my god! I want to thank you guys for tuning in for this Q&A session. There will be a part two and maybe a part three. 
Um, feel free to send me some questions on Twitter if you have any questions that I have not yet answered. And we will try to cover them in the next Q&A. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned.